chairman of child abuse charity just busted with toddler and has Hillary Clinton in a full panic. In a stunning display of hypocrisy, an advocate against the sexual abuse and exploitation of children is now in police custody after attempting to solicit sex from children as young as two years old. 22-year-old Joel Davis is a New York native and the head of an anti-abuse charity known as the International Campaign to Stop Hari and Gender Violence in Conflict. The advocacy group claims to be an organization devoted to ending sexual violence. According to the group's website, the charity has sent delegations to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Haiti, and Colombia, built an extensive network of survivors united for action and demanded fearless political leadership on behalf of victims everywhere. Davis and his despicable predilections for us why abusing children were discovered after he attempted to set up sexual encounters between himself and young children, as well as soliciting an undercover FBI agent to send SY explicit videos of her 9 and 2 year old children. He now faces charges of enticement of a minor to engage in sexual activity, attempted sexual exploitation of a minor possession of child pornography and receipt and distribution of child pornography. What a fine, upstanding young man! According to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, U.S. Attorney Jeffrey S. Berman stated regarding Davis Dash. Joel Davis started an organization devoted to stopping sexual violence, while allegedly engaged in the duplicitous behavior of sharing explicit images of infants engaged in sexual activity. Davis also allegedly solicited an undercover officer, whom he thought to be a willing participant, to send SY explicit videos of his nine-year-old daughter, and even to set up a sexual encounter between himself and a two-year-old. The conduct alleged against Joel Davis is as unfathomable as it is sickening, and as this case demonstrates, law enforcement will keep its watchful eye on the darkest corners of the Internet to bring predators to justice. During the course of these conversations, Davis told the undercover officers that he was SY interested in children of all ages. Davis sent the undercover officers SY explicit photographs of infants and toddlers, including photographs in which the infants and toddlers were engaged in sexual activity with adults. FBI Assistant Director in Charge William F. Sweeney Jr. said in a statement, having started an organization that pushed for the end of sexual violence, Davis displayed the highest degree of hypocrisy by his alleged attempts to SY exploit multiple minors. As if this wasn't repulsive enough, Davis allegedly possessed and distributed utterly explicit images of innocent infants and toddlers being SY abused by adults. But it gets even worse. Davis has deep roots in academia as an alumnus of Oxford University, Columbia University, and the Juilliard School, according to his LinkedIn profile. He also actively involved in the campaign to elect Hillary Clinton for president. Why is it that Hillary is always surrounded by degenerates, rapists, pedophiles, abusers, womanizers, and perverts? Does anyone else wonder why Davis was so passionate about making sure Hillary won the election against Donald Trump? It seems as though like recognizes like and Davis knew his crimes would continue unabated with someone like Hillary in charge. After all, Hillary has enabled and protected Bill for years. From her husband to her close friend Harvey Weinstein, to her best friend's husband, Anthony Weiner, it is like a parade of disgusting anti-woman, child-abusing sickos in her close, close circle. Absolutely abhorrent, but sadly typical of the type of person Hillary is known for associating with. Segments of the complaint detailing the absolute evil that Davis intended for these innocent children is horrific. It details the loathsome nature of his conversations with undercover FBI agents whom he believed were fellow child abusers just as vile as he. Warning, contains explicit and triggering material dash. Prosecutors detailed for the court on Tuesday despite his involvement in an organization proclaiming its commitments to ending sexual violence, Davis exchanged text messages with undercover agents over the course of several weeks earlier this month. Undercover agents then tracked these text message exchanges prior to arresting the chairman. Davis told the undercover agents that he was SY interested in children of all ages. He is accused of sending the agents SY explicit and highly disturbing photographs of infants and toddlers, including 